If you ever happen to fall down the urban legends rabbit hole, you'll very quickly discover that Korean legends in particular are pretty damn crazy. Of course, some are silly, superstitious quirks, however, some are the stuff of nightmares. So, today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary Korean urban legends. Before we begin, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. Let's jump in. In at 5, Fan death. This is quite a bizarre one that I'm honestly surprised I never heard of before. Supposedly in Korea, there is a genuine fear of fan death. Now, fan death is a well known belief in Korean culture where it is thought that if you have an electric fan running in a closed room with an unopened window, you will quite literally die. Now, of course, there is no definitive evidence to support this strange claim, yet it's still widely believed. Where this legend came from is unclear, but fears of electric fans fans date back to their introduction to Korea with stories existing in the 20s and 30s, warning the risks of nausea, asphyxiation and facial paralysis to electric fans. Yeah, this is not a joke. Now you're probably asking yourself what the proposed cause of death actually are. Right? Well, first up is hypothermia, heat stress. Now, air movement will increase sweat evaporation, which cools the body, but in extreme heat, when the blown air is warmer than the body's temperature, it will increase the heat stress placed on the body and in turn causing heat exhaustion. Now, the EPA, aka the Environmental Protection Agency, discourages people from using fans in closed rooms without ventilation. However, they do approve of a fan if a window is open. Very strict fan rules here, guys. Now, the second proposed cause of death is asphyxiation. It is alleged that fans may cause asphyxiation by oxygen displacement and carbon dioxide intoxication. Honestly, I've spent my whole life using fans and I'm still here. I think, anyway. I don't know. In at 4, Red Surgical Mask. As most know, plastic surgery is quite a big deal in Korean culture, as it is in America and the rest of the world, with the pursuit of perfection a thing that most strive towards. So this legend goes, I quote, A man is sitting in an empty subway car when a tall, thin woman walks in and sits in front of him. Her hair is dark and long, it covers most of her face, but he can see that she has a red surgical mask on. Thinking nothing of it, he leans back and watches the door close. Clothes. The man notices her eyes and she catches him staring. He smiles at her. She asks the man, Am I pretty? Taken aback, the man stammers, Yes. She takes a mask off, revealing the rest of her face. There was a gash from ear to ear, her gums, teeth, and ligaments showing. She screams at the man, Am I pretty now? In terror, the man tries to get her as far away from the woman as possible. She takes out a scalpel and makes her way to him when the doors open and the man runs out. Now, this legend may sound familiar to a lot of you, and that's because it shares very similar roots to Slip Mouthed Woman, a malevolent figure from Japanese folklore who partially covers her face with a mask or object and carries some sort of sharp instrument. According to popular legend, she asks potential victims if they find her attractive. If they respond no, she will kill them with her weapon. However, if they say yes, she will reveal that the corners of her mouth are slipped from ear to ear. Now, it's uncertain where the legend originated from, whether it was Japan or Korea, but regardless, it's straight up terrifying. Coming in at three, soul stealing dreams. Now, this one is truly terrifying because not only does it involve your dreams, but also your dead family members. It's f the legend goes that dreaming of a dead loved one is a bad omen, especially near water. It is said that the dead family member will call you towards them, and if you embrace them in your dream, they will steal your soul away. Lovely. One particular story occurred on a Korean TV show where they would discuss hauntings and encounters with the paranormal. I quote, During one of the episodes, they had a family on where they talk about how their grandmother had passed away. The man said that he dreamt that his grandmother was beckoning him over while she was waiting deep in water. For some reason, he didn't go when he told his wife. His wife explained that going into the arms of a dead person, in water no less, was a sure sign that your soul was going to be stolen. The husband said he kept having the same dream, and every time he was closer and closer to the grandmother, until one day, the family realized that they had kept something of hers. They paid respects to her once more, and the dream stopped. Lesson number one, if you're from Korea, do not hang on to any of your deceased family members' belongings. They will literally steal your soul for it. Coming in at 2, the virgin ghost. Stories of virginal ghosts are 
everywhere in Korea. They're often found in abandoned buildings, but more typically, they're found in hospitals, schools, bathrooms, cemeteries, and wooded areas. Just don't go to these places, and you're cool, I guess. Now, these virgin ghosts almost always have long hair covering their faces and dressed in white garbs. This is due to the fact that tradition stated that single women should always wear their hair up and the white garb is usually worn during death. In Confucian Korean tradition, it was a woman's role to serve her father, husband and sons. If she died before being able to fulfill this goal, she would be cursed to walk the earth for eternity. Now, legend goes that when you're in the presence of a virgin ghost, you will know it. This is because you'll feel a sudden change in temperature perhaps a sudden chill, and the wind will often change direction. One story goes that, I quote, A man was living on the topmost floor of the apartment building. One late night, he heard someone knocking on his door. He did not find anyone at the door, but he heard a voice telling him to count to 100 with his eyes closed and without making any noise. He started counting, but got curious at 49. He opened his eyes and found a virgin ghost staring at him. It is said that virgin ghosts are most likely to be found in abandoned buildings. They are dressed in white and have long hair. Very spooky indeed. And finally, in at number one, the haunted bathroom. Now, for some very strange reason, Koreans have a lot, and I mean a lot, of stories about haunted schools, particularly haunted school bathrooms. Yeah, it's unsettling. But to be fair, Korean schools are definitely eerie. What with their dark stairwells and long hallways, they seem to be never ending. And of course, the creepy, oftentimes half lit fluorescent lights enter Korean school bathrooms, which in pop culture are often depicted as decrepit, old, crumbling, and all Always dark. Now, legend has it that one of these stalls in these bathrooms, particularly the stall located towards the back, is where a girl killed herself and supposedly now haunts it. Students whisper that the toilet flushes by itself and that the door will close with no wind around. Rumor has it that if you're alone in the bathroom, you can hear the crying. Some also state that you can often see her watching you from inside the mirror. Another legend from a similar vein talks of a ghost that emerges from the toilet and asks you if you will use red or blue toilet paper. Honestly, neither. We all use white, right? If you choose red, the ghost will cut you open. If you choose blue, the ghost will choke you to death leaving your body blue from suffocation. So lose, lose, no matter what. Well, there we have it. You guys agree with our list? Were there any scary Korean urban legends that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 5 Scary Canadian Urban Legends Black Winds of War was Savage said, Should have just called this Top 5 Scary Eastern Canadian Urban Legends. Alright, I know, most of the legends were from Toronto or Montreal, but it's not my fault that they had the scariest legends. Legends. I'm not gonna sell you guys short. Galaxy said, Hail the Dark Queen, Lucy, the best narrator of the Amazing Family. Bless. Thank you so much. I'm gonna tell everyone that works here about that. Alexander Gonzalez said, Lucy looks like the Undertaker from WWF when he was going through the ministry and crucifying people phase. I feel like this isn't a compliment. <laughs> Thorin693 said, Scariest urban legend in Canada, Lucy McPhee. All hail Lucy, the pale goddess, she who rules them all. Classic. I'm always your guys number one on all of these lists. Respect. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. Until next time, see you later.